Okay, so um, I'm just going to show you the procedure how to uh, create uh, uh, argument reality inside Unreal Game Engine, and we're going to use um, its own template for this. So I'm all, I've already loaded up the Unreal Game Engine, and if we go to uh, if you click on the game tab you can see one for handheld AR and if you select it, it tells you a little bit about uh, what it can do and it does quite a few things straight out the box first of all it uses uh, a basic model as the AR object and it actually uses um, the camera to detect flat planes so you don't need an image target so I'm just going to set this up and then we're just going to come back uh, when it's loaded up okay so I've created a folder in a storage area I'll call it test UE5 stroke AR and I'll call the project name the same as the folder I'm just going to create that project Now it says to update the project folder, so I'll just do that, and we can do dismiss that. Okay, so uh, it does not much at the moment. Uh, these these circular objects are just links to the website, uh, so we don't really need to worry about those. But what they do is, if you select them, you can go to the help file and tells you what's in the project. So if we go to um, open URL, okay, so let that load up. And this tells you about how you install Android Studio. Now Android Studio should already be on the this um, on this machine already, so we're not going to go through that process. But if you haven't, that's the process to go through. Okay, so uh, just to let you know that, because obviously we're going to make this for an Android device, certain things need to be set up. So I'm just going to go through that. So project settings. And if we scroll down, uh, get to platforms, click on Android. So one thing you need to do is for it to make the APK, which is effectively the install file, you need to give it uh, this company name com, com dot your company name plus the project name so we'll just call it com dmax dot kill or, or test test ar okay. uh, and if we scroll down you need to configure these two for it to work Bit further down, click on that one as well. And we can leave those versions 24 and 24, leave that as it is. That's done, and then go to Android SDK. Now, obviously, I've already set this up. Okay. Okay. The first one, location of Android SDK, that's the location of the SDK that has already been installed. Okay. You can find that when you load up Android Studio and it tells you the path. You can put the path in there. The location on the Android NDK is. Uh, the again that's inside the Android Studio I told you where the NDK is and the last one is the JavaScript okay. uh, that will be inside Android Studio again and that's in the JRE folder 
the issue just tell you how which which operating system to use so we put latest uh, in there and Android 21 as the latest in there so that's okay so we go to Windows this is important so if we do compile version make sure you select Visual Studio 19 that's the one that's installed because it needs to compile some things in there and which has uh, default RHI just make sure that's default okay and that will require a restart so we'll click on restart and we'll come back okay just um, just gonna update uh, information uh, one of the, one of the mistakes I made was I didn't package the game data inside the APK that means it was a separate file so just make sure that's ticked so that's inside the Android settings. Just double check that all the settings for Windows are in place. Default Visual 19, that's correct. Okay, so we'll go through that process again. So I'll just close that. Save everything. Okay, platform, Android, and then package project. And go to build that and select. And it's just going to rebuild that. I'll just clear the log and you can see it going through again. That shouldn't take as long as it did before. Okay, we'll come back when that's done. Okay, so um, I've just transferred the test APK to my documents folder on my tablet. Um, we're just about to test it. Okay, so we've got the tablet now, which we've installed the APK. So we can find the APK if we go to the folders, go to installation files, and we can see uh, that we created this one. So I click on that, and it says an unknown file. Do you want to install? Click on install. Okay. Let that install. Um, this is just a protection that's on the uh, tablet. I'll just go install anyway. And then it can open. Hello. And then it just says because it wants to use uh, the photo, you can say, just say allow. So click send allow. And now it's saying that I need to scan my area. So I'm just click on scan. And it wants to use the video recording, that's fine. I'm using tablet. So it's just scanning any flat areas. I've noticed that this actually goes a bit slower on my um, tablet rather than on my phone. It's just determining where the flat area is. You can see now we're getting sort of concentric circles. It knows that that's a flat surface. So I can tap. And as you can see, the model, the default model is being placed on the surface of the uh, table. And I can move around. It also does a couple of other things. Um, so with the two fingers down, I can actually rotate the object round. With one finger placed on the plane, I can actually move the object around the plane. And you can also pinch you can scale the object down, up. So that's in the template. Okay, so that's it working nicely.